In this video, I want to talk about a genuinely recursive approach to the problem of f f figuring out whether the parentheses in a given string are balanced. So here's the insight here. That's the idea. So what we'll do is we'll say we'll find a matching pair of parentheses which don't have any parentheses inside them, and what we'll do is we'll just remove them. Once we've removed this pair, we say, okay, the only way for the expression to be balanced is if the remaining expression is balanced. And we'll proceed like that. So the next thing that we'll do will be to remove this pair because that's the innermost pair of parentheses with no other parentheses inside them. And then we'll remove this pair, and then we'll remove this pair, and then we'll remove this pair. And then if in the end we manage to remove everything, that means the expression was balanced to begin with. Note that we can do the same thing if an expression is not balanced. So here we can remove this pair, but this guy has no matching opening parentheses, so that's how we know that the expression is not balanced. If we cannot find a matching closing parenthesis to an open parenthesis or the other way, then we know that the expression does not have balanced parentheses. In this case, again, it's the same kind of story where this guy does not have a matching opening parenthesis and also this guy does not have a matching closing parenthesis. So we'll figure out that we cannot remove any pair and the expression is still not empty, which means that as a whole the expression is not balanced. So let's write so here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to say, OK, the first thing I'll do is I'll write the doc string. So the doc string is going to simply say return true if the parentheses in S are balanced. So how am I going to accomplish that? So what I want to do is I want to remove a pair of matching parentheses, so like these ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the first closing parenthesis, so in this instance it would be this guy, and then I'll go to the left and I'll find a matching opening parenthesis. So in this case it would be this guy. It might be that there is some stuff in between here, so we want to remove this whole thing. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to say I want to find the first closing parenthesis. I'm going to do it like this. So find gets you the index of the first closing parenthesis. So we got to do some housekeeping here. So let's say we haven't found one. In this case, find will return minus 1. So in this case, the only way for S to have balanced parenthesis is if it also does not have an opening parenthesis. So it's going to look like this. OK. So now if we got to this point, that means that we found a closing parenthesis, at least one. So that means that we got to find us the matching opening parenthesis. So if this is the first closing parenthesis, then we got to find this guy. For that, we'll use the function rfind. So string.rfind, it's the same as find, except it looks from right to left. OK, so that's what you're going to do. We're going to say, OK, so the starting parenthesis that matches paren end, the parenthesis at paren end, is going to be the first it's going to be the first opening parenthesis in this string when we look from the, from the right. So we'll cut out the string first and then we'll look for an opening parenthesis from the right, and that way we'll find this guy. So we'll say r find the opening parenthesis, like that. 
So okay, now we got to do more housekeeping. So we got to check whether we found an opening parenthesis at all. So if this is negative one, well, that's got to mean that we found a closing bracket, a closing parenthesis, because this was not minus one, but we haven't found an opening bracket at all that was to the left of the closing parenthesis, sorry. And that means that we got to return false because we have a closing parenthesis that doesn't have a matching opening parenthesis. So now we can say, okay, so we found a closing parenthesis, we found a matching opening parenthesis. So what we got to do is we got to remove the thing that's between the first closing parenthesis and the matching opening parenthesis. So how to remove the thing? Well, what we'll do is we'll say S, up to the starting parenthesis plus s starting from the character after the closing parenthesis and up to the end. So that's going to be the string except you take out the thing, uh, the entire substring between the first closing parenthesis and its matching opening parenthesis. And then we say okay we happen to have a function which returns true if and only if an expression has balance parenthesis. So we'll just use that function in order to figure out whether our string with the part that definitely has balance parenthesis taken out, so with this thing taken out, is still balanced. And if in the end we manage to remove all matching pairs and we don't have any parentheses anymore, then we'll return true. If we don't manage to remove all matching pairs, so for example, if here we try to remove this and that's fine, but this does not have a matching pair, then we'll return false from here or from here possibly.